Hey guys, today I'm going to go over my modern deck, which I made myself, and I call it Disney Princesses because you will see why. And it's my favorite deck. I love playing the deck, so I'll go over the creatures. It is 100% creatures minus four Cocos. Birds of Paradise. I hopefully will be getting Noble High Arc soon, and I would probably go maybe eight. Uh, getting to your Geist, uh, getting to your Knight of your Reliquary, very important. Four Philias, obviously that's one of the Disney princesses that you have. Uh, Malera would be the other one. Uh, four Oozes, four Voices, and two Arbiters. So one of the differences I have in my deck list is instead of going four, I have two. And the reason I have two is because I have eight fetch lands because I have Knight of the Reliquary, which doesn't play very well with this card. So I don't want to, if they kill it, great. If they don't, then that's good too. So I like it. Four Lux Luxedon Smiters, very, very good against, obviously, Leliana the Veil, against any discard. One of the best cards, I think, against Jund. It's just a very big body and it can smash for a ton of damage. Also, it cannot be countered, which is, I've never run into something that I needed. Uh, Brimaz, Brimaz we only have two of, honestly. As soon as I get my Noble High Arcs, I'm going to uh, side these out for the Nobles. And I think that's a very easy side, but he's been okay, but I don't think he's as good as Smiter or Knight of the Reliquary. So Knight of the Reliquary, again, does not play well. So that's Princess number two. Uh, he does not play well with Leon Arbiter, so because you need to get your land into the graveyard and which you might think, oh, that's that's not bad, right? But you can't search your library, so you have to pay a additional two, which is kind of annoying because you're an aggro deck and you're trying to get lands in there relatively free. So these two do not play well with each other. I actually like Knight over Arbiter, but Arbiter is very, very good against one deck, and it's called Tron, because you're very bad against Tron. And four Geises. Uh, Geises, one of the best free drops of all time. Extremely aggro. You get this Geist out on turn two, with a Birds of Paradise or a Noble. <coughs> you're good to go. I mean, you're just, you're, you're set to go. And Coco. So Coco will always hit, I mean, it's always going to hit something. Uh, you just have, you have a ton of targets, you have uh, the Geises, the Knights, so that's, this is 10, then you have another 10, so you have 20, you have 32 targets, and you get to see 6 cards at instant speed, uh, Voice is very good at instant speed, and then when you side in, you might even have more creatures, although you're probably just siding out. So that is your main deck. Uh, your lands are very basic. I have not worked on the lands yet. Four Temple Gardens, four Hollows. So this one, I'm gonna talk why you don't have the, the blue, white one. You need green. Green is the one color you want to drop because you got birds, you have hopefully uh, high arcs. And Geist, actually, it's pretty easy to get on the field, so you don't need blue, at least initially. So then you have eight fetch lands, which is not great with Arbiter because, again, you have to pay for yourself as well. And more, most importantly, you have four Ghost Quarters. Your worst matchup is definitely Tron. Tron is a nightmare of epic proportions for you to deal with, and it's only getting stronger. But that being said, you're very good against Infect. You're very good against John. You're very good against In. Um, oh, I'll show you Cyborg. I'll show you why you're so good against these decks. So against Infect, you side in Malera. Uh, Malera obviously is something that they can't interact with. They have to kill her. Uh, but before they kill her, uh, Infect, if you understand Infect, they have a very linear strategy where it's not about creature removing your creatures or really dealing with them. It's about using Ink, ink Moth Nexus to hit you. And that's why Birds of Paradise, I think, is kind of good because against a round one um, poison deck, you're fine because your birds can block one time, and that's all you really need for this deck. It's kind of like very aggro, and you can smash them for a ton more damage than they can hit you, but Poison is kind of an interesting matchup. Malera slows them down enough, and it's a 2-2. What people don't really get about this card is it is a 2-2, and those two damage do matter quite a bit. 
Uh, two chokes. Uh, the chokes are mainly for the storm decks that really kind of exist only in my locals. Uh, they are also very good against the Delver, Grixis builds. Uh, choke is definitely a card that you want to play and it's very good. We are very good against artifacts, mainly because we are stony si silence. Uh, apparently this 15 cent card is now uh, like 12 bucks. I did not know that until I had to uh, trade for them. <coughs> I was like, oh wow, okay, well I need them. Uh, four paths against Jund. And a Nature's Claim, which is kind of against, in fact, our Affinity. So Affinity, you can shut down Affinity pretty well. That's a good matchup for you. Jund is a good matchup, uh, definitely. Infect is a very good matchup. Boggles is not a good matchup, although you do have blockers for days. And then Coco does allow you to get like extra blockers. And uh, your worst matchup, of course, is Tron. The only way you can beat Tron is that's why you have your Arbiter's main deck. That's one way to steal game one away from them. Ghost quartering because after the second ghost quarter, they don't have any lands, uh, basic lands. They probably have one or two. They have like a mountain or a forest, maybe one of both at most, but they are very greedy in their mana base because they have a uh, grove of the burn willow willows. Oh, yeah, grove of the burn willows. And they have a lot of, you know, obviously they have the Tron lands. If you can knock out one of the Tron lands, the probability of them. You know, being able to find one, another one, or drawing into another one is much, much lower. So that's the way that you have to steal. You have to steal game one from Tron, and that's hard. And you have to hope, you have to hope that you can beat, you know, Tron. Um, that's going to be one of the better decks. This deck I like a lot. It does have some improvements to make. Uh, and primarily, the Nobles have to come in. I think Noble dropping a turn two Geist or a turn two Knight of the Reliquary in this deck. That's very. That's what you need to do on a consistent basis. So having four birds of paradise, four nobles, I think it's worth having the space. Anyway, this is a fun deck. I call it Disney princesses because you got your. Um, you're going to have your nobles. You're going to have your maleras. You're going to have your knights, and you will obviously have your fireers. So you have four of them uh, in this deck. So it's a fun deck. I love the deck. It doesn't win as much as it could, I guess. But I'm having a blast playing it. Anyway, bye guys.